What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in to a very special and unfortunate episode of Cannabis Legalization News. Today, we are talking about Shakari Richardson. Uh, y'all probably heard the news. Uh, let's just say, hey, hey, Miggy. Hey. What's up? Hey. We're also joined by partner attorney, Tammy Allison. Hi, Tammy. Hi, how are you guys? Good. So, uh, yeah, let's get to this, like the uh, American Sprinter, Shikari Richardson test positive for cannabis, Olympic hopes in doubt. Well, they're not even in doubt now. They're done, right? Like that's, she's she's been told no, she can't come. For, I, I heard she could also do the relay. Is that true? Did you guys hear that? She could also do a relay, but I'm not sure. There's been a lot of developments in the past couple of minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. got on, so. But I still, it's a very, I mean, it's fucked up that she has to even have to do this. Like this is, why is cannabis on this drug list for 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 enhanced uh you know is this an eating contest what are we, what are we doing let's right. talk about it let's talk about yeah. it like, what is it and first of all you know how i feel about the whitewash word cannabis especially in this context weed marijuana <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. as it's referred to in the united states sentencing guideline marijuana with an h and no j mm -hmm. but um the thing is is that she is still that girl and it's Chuck Carey. And mm. at the end of the day, Nike has stood by her side and said that they still support her. All right. She's going to have a one month suspension. Okay. But it just goes to show that the stigma that's affiliated with weed, cannabis, yeah. pot, all of this, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. And I think we see so many people for the first time publicly really speaking out about how it's it's weed. Relax, people. Yeah. Well, right? just, yeah. In the insaneness of this, uh, uh, of like, yeah, why is cannabis or marijuana weed? You know, it's funny you say that. Uh, the original thumbnail I want to throw at this was uh, uh, American Sprinter loses a, uh, uh, or America loses a Sprinter to pot. But our, our our graphics guy was like, "That's a. Do you want it? Do you have any better words?" I'm like, "It's it's what it is, man. That's what I call it. We, you know, it's it's where we tried though, like you said, the whitewash or or what is it? The uh, uh, the switching, the code switching. We're oh, like switching. different, you know." We we try and appeal to a bunch of people, and, and 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 it's not it's not who we are inherently. Like it's and and we are Americans, period. Like this is who we are as people, and, and we have the rights entitlements that every other person has. Like we're all equal. Surprise. You know, and you know, yeah. I, I'm I'm so disappointed by this decision because it's not as if it's a performance enhancing yeah. drug that we've seen in, with other athletes as they qualify for Olympics or go to the Olympics. Usually, it's like, oh my gosh, they're taking performance enhancement drugs, and that's why they were able to break all of these records. No, yeah. she has been tested positive for cannabis, weed, whatever you want to call it, a drug that has that stigma of making people lazy and mm -hmm. sleepy and right. hungry. And she's still breaking world records being compared to everyone, but she's still, you know, showing up loud and proud. And I think that's why so many people fell in love with her, especially mm. hearing that her mother passed away and she still killed it being that girl. And yeah. for this to happen is so unfortunate. I think that's why all of us are just like heartbroken by this decision. Mm -hmm. It was legal where she was at too. Let's let's add she wasn't like doing some sort of weird shady stuff, like getting stuff brought her into her in the back of uh, say Idaho. No, she went across the street probably at the end of her day of working out and, and smoked a wellness product. Something like you're not getting busted for taking aspirin. You know that she, that poor girl beats her body up every day. Her knees, her the back. Um, it's an analogy. See that word, analogiastic. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's not like steroids. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I I don't know where she was, but I do know that she is from right here in the Dallas, Texas area. Yeah. You know, she's from this area, and in Texas, as we all know. Uh, it's not legal yet. Uh, in 2015, Texas did pass its Compassionate Use Act, mm. but that's pretty much its medical marijuana. Um, so I don't think that, you know, she fell within that definition or even had a medical marijuana card. But it just goes to show that there does need to be sweeping reform as oh. it pertains to this uh quote unquote drug and not only with the legislation that we've seen presented in the house um but in the united states sentencing guidelines having some type of retroactive amendment that can address um not only the stigma affiliated with the using of this uh plant but also the 
dis, dis, disproportionate sentences that underrepresented groups see uh, whenever they are caught uh, with yeah. um, possession or, or the usage of marijuana. Well, her losing her, her, her entitlement for working so hard just shows the inequality in itself, right? Why is this poor girl being punished for, 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 for taking care of her mental health and physical health? She's mm -hmm. being punished for being a human being. It's, I, I think you hit the nail on the head to be unpunished. And, you know, a lot of people are like, well, why do y'all have to bring race into it? Because race is always a part of it. She's a black woman in America. Yeah. She's 21 years old. Most Americans, st statistically speaking, have some type of mental health issue. For me, hello, I have anxiety. <laughs> former senior DOJ attorney with all of my accomplishments, all of my credentials. I have anxiety, had an accommodation in law school and had accommodations throughout the Department of Justice. So imagine her being 21 years old, having just lost her mother, mm -hmm. having just qualified for the Olympics and having all of this press and media attention on her for the first time ever. Can you yeah. imagine the amount of stress the anxiety that that alone might bring and not having the proper foundation in place to cope with it. What do most young people do, especially those of us in underrepresented groups? Mm. And you know, <laughs> she didn't, yeah, but she didn't go to the bottle. She went to something that was healthy, you know, a, a healthier option, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and let's talk about how the poor girl found out that her mom died. Like she's in a different platform than we are, a different world. She found out through a reporter, like not even like, like a, like a caregiver, like when I was in the military, uh, 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 someone or something in your family died, the Red Cross would come out and then, you know, they try and just like assuage this as much as possible. Whereas, hey, by the way, you're going to win tomorrow. Oh, are you going to go to your mom's funeral? I mean, like, what the wow. fuck? How do you, you know, this poor girl's got, like you said, the way of the world at 21, you know, when I was 21, um, I'm so glad there's no YouTube. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, I came up in, on the southwest side of Houston, Texas at 21. Listen, you know. You know I, we I'm, do dumb shit, for real. <laughs> we, we do, whether you drink, smoke, do drugs or not. Like, So just yeah. imagine having all of that Seriously. quick pressure on, on top of that. So it's very unfortunate. But I, I do applaud Nike for standing up and, and coming to her side and saying, you know, she's been one of our athletes since yeah. 2019. And she will continue to be one of our athletes. No, for real though. It, 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 for you know, Nike's a weird entity, right? Like they're this big ass company in in, in Oregon, and uh, 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 you know, don't say anything about China, but <laughs> you can smoke all the weed you want. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's just crazy. Did you know though? Normal is trying to do a a, a, a campaign. If you go to the normal website, they have this uh, "Let Richardson Race" uh, uh, petition going on. And there's a call to action link in the bottom here. If people want to go to a normal website, oh wow! And just kind of help voice, you know, every voice counts, you know. And that's why I've been doing this thing right here. Is just, uh, you know, every every people get locked up or people get fucked with. You know, we've, we've always been a minority, but now thanks to the internet, you know, we have this option to like, you know, ask for help or at least tell the story and hopefully someone else step up and help out. And, and and this is just utter bullshit. Like Lauren, I know it really got her riled up. She's all like, you know, wants to be involved. Are you having a bad internet connection? Yeah, I am. But I did want to say, Tammy, like you said, I'm so happy about the outpour of support that she's getting. Like when I got on Instagram, everybody was talking about it from all different types of communities. So it's so awesome that everybody's helping out. And guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you threw that link in the chat. Let's see. Chat's in there. Right on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at the good. end of the day, cannabis is freaking medicine. Okay, people? Yeah. Like that part. A flower. Exactly. That's it. I mean, she wasn't doing anything like, like meth, like there's no steroids. This is a wellness in a situation that it shouldn't even be where it's at. <laughs> it's the bias for me. Can we just say how many other athletes have ever been caught? you know, with uh, marijuana or cannabis, but did they have long orange or blue or green hair? Did they mm -hmm. have super long fingernails? Were they outspoken and correcting reporters on how to pronounce their name with mm. their fingernails loud in their face? Nice. I'm, I'm real curious. She's tough. That's nice. I like that. I didn't, I didn't know who she was at all until this, this came about. I'm not an Olympic person. Like, I think the Olympics are uh, a scam overall. Oh, like, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, every country dumps millions of dollars, like what happened in LA. You know, you know, they, they, they throw a bunch of money thinking the Olympics are going to make 
the their city more touristy or whatever. But instead, you just get shit on, and then everybody goes home. I mean, mm-hmm. the Olympics are full of shit. Like, what's the point of them? Like, I, I, I think mean, it's great that people have aspirations and and want to compete. Like, like, good on this young lady. Like, good on you for having a goal. Like, when I was your age, I was just trying to get drunk and doing whatever at the time. Like, I wasn't, you know, I had not have goals. Like, I've always had aspirations, but never a goal. You know, and 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 when you're that young and have it, fuck yeah, dude, you deserve stuff. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Lauren, yeah, you feel sure. that way about the Olympics too? I mean, unfortunately, I really enjoy the Olympics. They are fucked up from top to bottom, like they're twisted, but I love sports and it's fun to like participate. That's probably the most patriotic I get. Right? Go USA! <laughs> right? <laughs> but, I mean, I like, I like, yeah, I want Team USA to win, but overall, I just think like, like, so you, you're telling me all you did was throw this little shot put all day just so you could get in TV for a little bit. And I mean, like, but how's that pay your bills? How's that? <laughs> you know, I want the electricians in the Olympics. Like, I'm trying to give the skill set to the people. Like, I'm trying to, like, like, let's educate. Not, I mean, it's great that we're all, like, physically fit. But I want to enable everybody to be like, here, you need a skill set if you want to get by in this life. You need, and then with that skill set, you'll fuck people up. Like, you will win. That? about NFL players and NBA players because what's the I think they're a bunch of dumb motherfuckers too until no! like I, I found out Richard Sherman went to fucking uh, uh, was it uh, 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 <laughs> Richard Sherman's a goddamn smart motherfucker uh, what was it uh, 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 Stanford he went to Stanford on a, on a, on a like so they're again my ignorance is when it comes to like sports I don't I'm not a sports guy I mean I'm big enough to be one every thought I was one it's like being tall like oh you play basketball you know just because no. I'm you know I, I mean I, I like hitting people well how tall <laughs> Uh, I'm 5'11". Two sixty. Well, uh, <laughs> no, I'm medium size. Actually, I'm a small Samoan. Is what I am. I'm a big Mexican small Samoan. Listen, I am five foot ten as oh, a shit. woman. That's nice. tall. That's tall for a woman. Yeah. Yeah, I get the. Do you play basketball? You know oh no, I'm, I'm saying not basketball for me. No, I'm more football. Like people, are like oh, you you must have been uh like a. Tight end or whatever the case is. I, you I, pick them. Yeah, pick yeah, 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 Lord, it, it, a yeah. Pickle. Yeah, I got, I got a little something, something. But the thing is, it's like it, 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 I'm half Samoan, so like bench pressing, leg press. I'm pretty strong too. Well, as a kid, not now. Now I'm old and getting up hurts. But like, you know, back in the day when it was a thing, I, I just sports were never my thing. Like, like it's fun. I'm a gamer. Like I'm well. just. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, and I are all about the Olympics. So you're the yeah. odd man out. These two black girls, time. okay? We are it's all so about the fun. Olympics. Team USA, yeah, team yeah. Shakari Richardson, mm. and Team uh, Let Her Run. Mm. Hashtag Let Her Run. How about that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what Normal's doing too. Uh, I forgot what's the we should throw that hashtag in the description, but. Um, it's a developing story still, so hopefully we can see her at the Olympics. That would be freaking dope if she wants to compete. Yeah. But um, I think that's going to do it for Cannabis Legalization News today. Tammy, do you have anything to plug, or where can we find you? Hey! For all things presidential pardons, contact me at thepardonattorney.com, where I assist individuals with convictions um, in obtaining presidential pardons and commutations, as well as combating the bias through ownership. So business ownership and trademarks, copyrights, contract reviews, entertainment law. So that's thepardonattorney.com. And I'm Tammy Allison. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. It was such short notice, but thanks. And y'all have a good uh, 4th of July weekend. We'll see you on Sunday. We'll go out on 420. Stay on. We'll talk to you real quick.